Well, a new law going into effect this summer will require most bars and nightclubs to do more to keep their customers safe. The law would require them to offer drink testing kits, which could let someone know when their drink has been drugged. Brett Rodriguez joins us live from the Tower District with more on how this law could protect people who enjoy the nightlife. Catherine, there's a lot of people out and about here enjoying the nightlife in the Tower District. They're lined up to get into these bars, and those bars won't have those tests at least for a couple of months. But everyone we spoke to says this law was long overdue. I didn't realize I had gotten roofied until maybe like a week or two after. I thought I was just loopy. Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company Public Relations Manager Madison Beard says she herself fell victim to being drugged at a bar after someone roofied her drink in 2018. Just didn't really know what was going on and just chalked it up to, whoa, I got really drunk tonight. I don't know what happened. Um, but luckily, again, my friends were there and people were around and like were looking out for me. But yeah, it doesn't always end that way. After hearing about Assembly Bill 1013's passing, Beard is hopeful more horror stories like hers will no longer happen. I think it's a great for everyone and us too to have these this resource for people to feel even safer. AB 1013 will require bars and nightclubs in the state who don't serve food to offer drink testing kits to customers. The law signed by Newsom in October won't go into effect until the 1st of July, giving bars and clubs time to comply. The law does not require the business to offer the kits for free, but says the kits should be sold at a reasonable amount. Beard says the change is welcomed and Tioga Sequoia Brewing and the company is hoping it will encourage more people to go out in the city. Fresno um, and downtown has a great nightlife culture and um, I think there are a lot of uh, reasons why people might not want to come to downtown or tower district um, due to lack of safety and all that stuff and if this is one way that we can try to prevent that um, obstacle for people that would be amazing. The law itself does not say what will happen to businesses who do not comply, but it does say it is not a crime. Reporting live tonight in the Tower District, Rhett Rodriguez, KC24, Local News That Matters.